Mr. Nuruddin Yusuf, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, read this. Babul fil hide. I read it in okay. English. I will keep this class in English because the most of the students don't know Arabic. Okay, I should read it in English. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, how a menstruation woman should breathe. It was narrated from Aisha that the Prophet said to her, when she was menstruating, undo your braids and bit. So he, the narrator Ali said in his narration, undo your hair, undo your head. Comments, undo your head means Undo the braids of your hair or plates and wash your head. The ruling does not apply to a bath from sexual impurity. Do you know what is braids? Yes. Okay, good. So here we have the question that we need to write. Is this, does a woman need to undo or open the braids of her hair for the bath of the menstruation. Okay, write this question. Okay. Does a woman need to undo the braid of her hair for the bath? after menstruation. Okay. So the answer is yes. 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 A woman need to undo the braid of her hair for the bath after menstruation. The answer is yes. A woman need to undo the braid of her hair for the bath after menstruation. Mr. Abdul Hakim. Can you hear us? Mr. Abdul Hakim. Okay, no. You tell Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay, tell me the answer for this question. Okay. Let me go through it. Does Sorry? a woman need to undo the braid? Yes. According to the hadith narrated earlier by Aisha, she said the prophet instructed her to undo her ear before she can take birth. Okay. After menstruation. Do you have a notebook? 
not really right now. Then but how I can get it. Then how I can get out there. Okay, you know, the class just started. I will get it, inshallah. I'll okay. get a notebook out. Okay. Get it soon because we need to write all the questions and answer. Okay. All right, sir. Thank now, you, sir. now read this one. It was it was narrated from Aisha that Asma asked Professor Lalali was salam once period. He said, one of you should take a water and iot leaves and purify herself and purify herself well or thoroughly. Then she should pour water over her head and rub it vigorously so that the water reaches the roots of the of her hair a piece of cotton perfume with musk and purify herself with it. Asma said, how should I purify? He said, subhanallah, purify yourself with it. Aisha said, as, as if whispering to her, wipe away the traces of the blood. She Asma asked him about bathing with cleans, I mean, bathing to cleanse oneself from sexual impurity. He said, one of you should take our water and purify herself and purify herself well or thoroughly. She should pour water over her head and rub it at water which is the root of her hair. And she should pour water over her body. The Aisha said, how good were the women of the Ansar, for they did not let shyness keep John properly. Sahib. Okay. So the first thing here we have is, do you know what is the bath of Janaba? Now. Okay, tell me what is the bath of Janaba? Come again with the question, sir. Yes. What is the bath of Janaba? Okay, it's it's a it's a sacred bath in which we take to purify oneself from maybe after sexual intercourse. Yes. So here we will write the answer. Yeah. The obligatory bath. Obligatory bath. The obligatory bath which obligatory. we no. need to perform after sex is called bath of Janaba. Okay. The obligatory bath. obligatory bath which we need to perform after sex is called bath of Janaba. Mr. Jubril, what is the bath of Janaba? Mr. Nuruddin Yusuf. Yes, what is I'm here. The bath of Janaba. Wa alaikum. Wa alaikum What is the bath? Sorry, sir. Of yeah, the bath, the bath of Janaba is uh, a, a bath that is uh, taken by a Muslim. 
whenever he has a sexual intercourse with his wife or when he experiences emission of sperm from his body. Correct answer. <clears throat> so you can add this point as well whenever he has a wedding. So we can write two things in this answer. The bath which is taken, the obligatory bath which is taken after sex or the bath which is taken after the wet dream is called bath of Janaba. So next we will write the question how to perform the bath of Janaba. How to perform the bath of Janaba. So, Nuruddin, you should listen carefully. I will ask you this. So, the first thing we need, often scholars call it intention. Some also ask us to read Bismillah. Then the important thing, we need to wash private parts and then we need to make voodoo complete voodoo after that Pour water on right side of head to bottom. Bottom means feet. So st start pouring water from the right side of the head to the bottom of the feet. Then number sixth, pour water on left side of the head from top to bottom feet. Then the last one is the most important part. Water must Touch whole body, especially joints. So this last one is most important and most necessary one. So these are the seven points how to perform the bath of Janava. Okay, you can continue your salah. You can join us after your salah. So these are the seven points. Inform me, Mr. Yusuf, once you have written these seven points, then we will proceed further. What is your question? Sir, I was going to the salats now. You have a salah time? Yes. Okay. You both can continue your salah and next time you can join. Okay, if you have any question, you can ask me, then we will stop the class.
see you all next time inshallah ma salam and goodbye